What's up? Welcome to part three on how to code a live streaming server. In this part, we'll be putting the live stream online using a VPS. If you haven't already seen parts one and two, then I recommend you watch them here. And for those who don't know, my name is Abdi. I'm a software engineer and on this channel, I make tech tutorials. So let's get started. The server we'll be using is from linode.com. If you sign up using my link in the description below, then you'll get $100 in credit and you'll also be supporting the channel. Once you're signed in, we'll create a Linode. For the distribution, we'll pick Ubuntu 20.10. There's no real special reason behind this. Uh, it just happens to be the one I decided to test and work on and it works fine for me. Next, for the region, we'll pick whichever server is closest to you. For me, that'll be Dallas, Texas. For the Linode plan, we'll pick Nanode, one gigabyte. It's gonna be all you really need to get started with a few viewers, um, and it only costs $5 per month. Next, we'll add a password. You can also opt to use a SSH key uh, to log into your server. It's more secure than a password, and you won't need to type in a long password to your terminal. If you'd like to learn more about that, make sure to leave a comment below. Lastly, hit create a node, and just like that, we have our own server running online that we've configured. So next, we're going to install the live streaming code to the server and get it running. Now that the VPS is booted, an easy way to log in is to use the Lish console. When you get to the login, use root as the username and put in your password. First thing we'll do is to install Docker. To do that, run apt install Docker and press Y to continue. Next, we'll want to install Docker Compose. If you get this same failure as me, you can run apt get update to update the package installer so we can install Docker Compose. Once Docker and Docker Compose are installed, we'll want to clone my repo uh, with the live streaming code. We'll go to my repo page on GitHub, get the HTTPS clone link, and then run git clone on the VPS. Once cloned, go into the repo, and then go to live stream part three. This recording is a little bit old, and it says, I know it says live stream part two. You don't wanna do that. You wanna pick live stream part three for this to work out of the box with no code changes. And lastly, we'll run docker compose build, and then docker compose up to get the project running. Here's a demo of the live stream in action. On the right, I'm streaming from OBS, and then on the left, I'm watching my stream live from my VPS. The IP address is different because I'm recording this clip over a month later uh, from my last clip, and I had to create a new Linode server because I deleted the old one. The latency on this is pretty variable, but I think it's pretty good to be under a minute for something I just cobbled together. Some improvements I can make are using a real domain instead of my VPS's IP address, get an SSL certificate so we can use HTTPS, and then down the line, maybe have multiple streams going with account creation, etc. But that's for another video. All right, that's everything for now. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not. I'm going to go on a walk with my new comfy sandals. Peace.